So the first problem that I'd like to at least cover with this is I'll go back over to number three um, on there. But I wanted to cover real quick uh, session number one, which is over here. Actually, you know what? Let me do one very similar to this. So let's go ahead and graph. I'm going to do number four. I'm not going to do, actually do number four. I'm going to do one very similar to this as we just kind of talk our way through it. OK? Because this is something you guys are going to be doing on your homework, uh, very similar to this. And when you guys are going through and doing these problems on your homework, the main important thing that we talked about uh, you know, in our first class period when going over these is identifying the y-intercept. And if you guys remember, in your notes, when you have the equation y equals a times b to the x, the graph crossed at the coordinate point 0 comma a. Correct? So to graph this, the main important thing we want to do is identify what is a. So in this example, what is our a downhill? In my example. One third. So therefore, we can say that the graph is going to cross at one third. Does that make sense? Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is this graph a growth equation or a decay equation. And I'm not going to rewrite down the notes again. But if you guys remember looking at this, so we have our a, and then we looked at b. If b is greater than one, then it's going to be a growth equation. If b is less than one but greater than zero, it's a decay. So therefore, we look at b. And Parker, what is the value of our b in this equation? 2. So is that going to be greater than 1? So therefore, it creates a growth equation. All I was really asking you guys to do is know the shape and then to also just pick, you know, pick a value. So the best thing to do is pick a value to the right and to the left of the y-intercept. So the easiest values I would pick would just be 1 and negative 1. So y equals 1 third times 2 to the first power. Well, that equals y equals 2 thirds. Would everybody agree to me? 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is like 0.66, right? Then let's do y equals 1 third times 2 to the negative first power. Remember, negative powers, to make that a positive, that's y equals 1 over 3 times 1 over 2. right? You got to put it in the denominator to make it positive. So therefore, you have y equals 1 over 6. So when x equals negative 1, it equals 1 sixth. And if you guys go ahead and compute that decimal, you can see it's going to be already very, very close to 1. So that's what your graph would look like. OK, that's it. So all I asked you guys to do was to not only find the y-intercept, but to plot a point to the left and to the right of your graph.